Hi, good morning. Welcome to business. My name is Daryl Kwao. The Ghana Institute of Faith Forward as Gift says a barrage of constructive criticisms directed at the Ghana Revenue Authority and corresponding actions have helped in the implementation of the Integrated Customs Management Systems ICOMS. The Customs Division of the GRA came under intense pressure last year from the business community over disruption in clearance at the post due to the new system. But a year into the introduction of the electronic clearance system, Vice President of the Tema branch of GIVE, Johnny Mante, tells Joy Business ICOMS has brought a number of changes. Here's Tema correspondent Kwame Anka. ICOMS is an electronic customs clearance system which computerizes procedures and automates clearance process. Prior to its introduction, Ghana Community Network Services Limited, GCNET, and West Blue Consulting operated a multifaceted system which aided customs in revenue collection. However, customs in 2020 introduced ICOMS, which is a harmonized system to help reduce lapses. Implementation of the new system was greeted with some fears and criticisms from institutions within the business community, including Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders, GIF. But Ghana Revenue Authority at the time maintained the new system was going to improve efficiency and cost of doing business at the various points of entry. A year into implementation of ICOMS, Troy Business finds out whether the new system has brought changes. Johnny Mante is Vice President of Tema Branch of GIF. They rolled out a new platform where um, members could go on and um, not just appeal, but um, find proper resolutions to their problems instead of probably carrying them, um, doing lots of appeal. You could actually, what we call conflict resolution on a platform where um, there is an officer who is always on standby to look at a case that somebody has seen and then review the case. So, uh, it has enhanced uh, revenue flow as well. Don't forget uh, there are other platforms like the uh, Ghana.gov platform that has also come on stream, um, which makes payments really easy. Don't forget also again that prior to ICOMS, there were only about three banks. Now every bank, it's, it's, it made it so easy you can't even believe it. Now payment of duties is it's so, it's so simplified. In the comfort of your office, you can just make payments wherever you are, on your phone, wherever you are. Despite these achievements, Johnny Manti says there are areas that need improvement to make ICOMS very efficient. But the network seems to, most of the time, it seems to be unstable sometimes. And we've, we've been talking about them, we know they are working on it. They, 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 we pray that they work on it as soon as possible. Um, and then also, um, yes, in as much as they engage us, we want it to be quite prompt. Of course, you know, we are now we are spoiled, so we want more. But the point is that the more we engage, the better the system becomes. The more you get feedback, the more you're able to resolve your problem. So because the feedback has been very good, um, as soon as we mention, we, we talk about issues, we look, they look at it and they, they try to resolve. So yes, um, where enhancements are, are, are done, we want to know quickly. The business community believes GRE would achieve its goals with ICOMS if it continuously work on feedback. This has been Kwame Yankes' report for Joy Business.